Sai Devi. Yeah, Sai Beta. Like, how do uh, prayers and the good thoughts help the departed souls? And I also have one more to add on to the same question. Like, where do these departed souls, you know, destine to go? I always have this question in me. So, first question first. Uh, why do prayers yes, and good thoughts. good thoughts help departed souls? First of all, beta prayers and good thoughts help everybody. We know yes. that good vibrations will help us whether we are in the body or outside of the body. But going to my Baba, our Baba, what has He taught us in the Satcharita? Multiple places Baba mentions how good thoughts have to be inculcated before we move on on our journey to the other mm -hmm. side. Baba says and the Bhagavad Gita says that you should keep taking God's name, Sai Naam, Ram Naam, Hari Naam, any Nama that you want to take. But you have to keep chanting Sai Sai as the Satcharata says because at the last moment we may be very scared, we may be terrified of what is happening, we may be in pain to leave people behind. Mm. So our thought is everywhere but with Him. But with practice we can inculcate that habit of always thinking about Him in a good situation and a tough situation. But He talks about it particularly at the time of death. Mm. So it is said that Whatever is your last thought at the deathbed is where you go to next. Mm. So if the thought is in the material things, you go back to the material things. And if the thought is in the Guru, you merge into the Guru. It's so simple. There's a story, you know, I think I've written it in my one of my books, I can't remember, where there is an old merchant who is on his deathbed and uh, four sons that he has. So he asks, who is the, where is my first son? And he says, father, towards your feet. Okay, okay. Where's my second son? Father, I'm here on your right side. Okay, okay. Where's my third son? Father, I'm on your left. Where's the fourth son? Father, I'm right behind your head. Who is at the shop? And he dies. So he's born as a dog outside the shop to guard the shop now because last thought was who is guarding my shop? So he becomes a dog and he's guarding the shop now. So the last thought is it's a story, but it is so important to understand that last thought is so important. So like it is for the person who is going, if we surround that person with beautiful energies of prayers, like Baba before he took Samadhi, he's God, he didn't need it. Yet he asked Mr. Vaze to read the Ram Vijay to him for almost 15 days. Just Shravan, listening to God's name, God's stories, God's Leela's blessings, it helps in the transition. When people are merging, we always say, play some mantras in their rooms. Let them just keep receiving or just sit and chant next to them. In the Satcharita, uh, with Vijayanand, the, mm -hmm. the sadhu who comes there, Baba knows he's about to die. So Baba says, go read the Ram Vijay, do Parayan after Parayan. Or he'll ask somebody to read the Satcharitra, do Parayan after Parayan. So what happens is all of this gives us good energies and it makes the transition easier, more beautiful, more barberful, more peaceful. And I've had a lot of experiences with souls thanks to Baba. He makes sure I keep seeing the other world also. I just want to share one small thing from that experience with you. When we send a soul in good energy and prayers, you can't imagine the amount of light I see around the soul. It is like there are millions of bulbs lit around the soul. I can't explain its blinding beta. In my closed eyes in meditation, when I see it, it hurts my eyes. That's the kind of light that is there to receive the soul when the soul is connected to us in prayers. So if you are praying for that soul, we are sending them in such a beautiful space of light and peace. We must pray. And where does the soul go? Obviously, it goes to that higher consciousness, which is him. That is not my question to answer. That is his question to answer. I'm sure finally we all merge there. Some choose to come back here. Some move on on the journey towards him based on our karma. That choice is made after we have gone by the higher power. But uh, wherever we are, I, I always pray to Baba and say that I've never asked him for moksha, liberation, mm -hmm. nothing, never. I always tell Baba that if you need me to keep coming back and serving your children, I am happy, Baba. Mm -hmm. And if you want to take me to you, I am happy, Baba. Whatever you choose, I am happy, Baba. I think that's the best thing to do, isn't it? Lovely, lovely. Well, Sati. So blessful. Thank, Thank you, you, Beta. Yes, yeah, I... Sorry.